All right, what's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another episode here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about something that most people might think is very boring. However, it is one of the most important things that you can do as a tournament bass angler to increase your success uh, in tournaments. And that just being by upgrading your treble hooks and your split rings. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that you have to do that to all of your baits because that's just not realistic. I don't know anybody who has the money to upgrade every single bait that they have. And if you do, good for you. I do not. Most people do not. So I'm going to upgrade this stuff as needed. When I go to fish a tournament, that's when I'm going to upgrade my, my split rings and treble hooks. Um, I keep my stuff really, really simple. I only throw round bend treble hooks. You can throw EWGs if you prefer. However, with a round bend, you're going to get better hookups just because there's more of a bite gap in that hook. Um, an EWG is going to keep those fish pinned better, but I would rather take the hookup percentage over the landing percentage, if that makes sense. Only because if you don't hook them, you can't land them. So yes, you might lose a couple fish because of a round bend. However, I haven't seen that make a huge difference at all in my fishing. Uh, so I stick with round bends because I know when that fish bites or slaps at it, I'm going to hook him, and that's really what matters at the end of the day is getting a hook in that fish. As far as my split rings go, these are owner hyperwire split rings. Um, a size 2 and a size 3 will get you through most applications. Uh, if you're deep cranking or throwing a really big top water, you might want to bump it up to a size 4. A size 2 is going to be really good for jerk baits and small crank baits. A size three is going to be really, really good for square boat crankbaits and medium diving crankbaits, or you're just mid-sized uh, crankbaits. So as long as you have these two, you can really cover like 80% of the fishing out there, minus big top waters and uh, big, big crankbaits, like I said. So as long as you have those, super important. Now, as far as treble hook sizes go, you can see on here, I don't carry a ton of sizes. However, I do carry... Uh, a good bit. I carry an 8, a 6, a 5, a 4, and then down here I carry a 3. That's really it for the majority of my treble hooks. If I open this up, you can see this is an exception. Those are Mega Bass size 6 crankbaits. That is specifically for Mega Bass Vision 110 jerk baits. Um, I just keep them in there because I really like the Mega Bass hooks. Yes, they are very light wire and easy to bend out. However, if you set your drag properly and you play that fish like you're supposed to, you're not going to have any issues. And these hooks are extremely sharp. So definitely pick those up. Um, I think they sell them on Tackle Warehouse, if I'm not mistaken. You can definitely go pick these hooks up over there. Obviously, it's going to be the best alternative for changing out Mega Bass Vision 110 hooks because it's not going to mess up the weight. Uh, of the bait, so it's going to suspend really well if that's what you want uh, in that jerk bait. However, moving on, you can see these are all round bend treble hooks. The silver colored ones here are bronze uh, treble hooks in the Gamagatsu lineup there. That's really all I throw, Gamagatsu trebles. Uh, I don't mess with anything else. These are a size four. If you're going to be looking to upgrade strictly square bill hooks, get short shank trebles. I would say Gamagatsu makes a number four Gamagatsu short shank treble hook. That's the best one that I have found for my square bill crankbaits. Uh, if you're looking for something like a DT6, you could go with like a, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. You go with like a six or a five. I would say a five is probably the best size for something in that size category. Um, just because it's a little bit beefier than the stock hooks that come on there, but it's not so big that it's gonna overpower those baits. So kind of a quick video here, nothing crazy, but you really need to be paying attention to this. Your hooks will dull so much quicker on stock baits. They're not using premium hardware. You need to swap that stuff out whenever you're fishing tournaments and you're gonna have a lot better landing percentage, which is in turn gonna to lead to you doing a lot better in tournaments, making more checks, and just being more successful overall. So if you guys like this video, drop a comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, it would help out a bunch, and uh, I wanna hear what you guys have to say. If you have any opinions on treble hooks, um, split rings, anything like that, uh, let me know. And before I actually sign off here, I wanna talk about these real quick. Totally forgot, these are the Texas Tackle Split Ring Pliers. Um, the, the model that 
is best for bass fishermen is going to have this orange handle here. Just going to fit a majority of your split rings. But other than that, like I said, do all that stuff, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.